All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. Today is April 22nd, 2022, and we're doing a sewer scope here in Sandy. We are at 1995 Rio Way. We've only got the camera pushed out 31 feet, uh, not very far out at all. So I just flushed the toilet. Um, I'm hitting a looked like a big root in the line. It was hard to see exactly what it was because there was toilet paper stuck in the line kind of around what looks like a root. Um, and I flushed the toilet to see if it's holding water or if it was going to move that waste through the line. It looks like this is definitely the start of a blockage. Um, water is building up and not getting through it. So I would recommend having this line hydro jetted. I would imagine if, if you run enough water, I mean a couple showers, I, I don't know how much it would take, but this isn't draining very quickly, and so it wouldn't take much for this to back up into the house. Um, I didn't realize it was going to hold this much. I, I, I like to be able to show you the actual route. Usually it takes a second to, to drain, but not necessarily this long. Oh, I might have been able to push through that. And so I'm going to continue down the line. There we go. I was able to push through that. Looks like you might have some standing water, which might be more than a root. It might be a little bit of a belly, but we'll see when we pull back. Whatever that toilet paper is, I'm getting stuck on. I'm going to flush another toilet to see if I can flush that down. So the good news is we're going to be able to see a lot more of the line than if I wasn't able to get past that that route. The bad news is that you are, you do have some standing water and at a minimum you need to have this cleaned out. Very good. Wash that, that wipe down the line. Um, you always want to avoid wet wipes. Even if it says they're flushable, I would avoid them. Oh, there's that wipe again. Yeah, that's not toilet paper, that's a wet wipe. Just so you know, I push my camera out pretty quickly and then generally I record as I pull back. And so this is I'm not inspecting the line necessarily right now. I'm making a little commentary, but I look at it much closer as I pull the camera back. All right, and there's the main sewer line. So this first connection point is called the nose on. This is where it goes from your lateral line into the main city line. Looks like a good connection point there. This is clay pipe. If you look at the edge, you can see that red terrac terracotta color. It's kind of the giveaway that it's clay and not something else. No standing water so far, which is good. That indicates that this part of the line has proper grade. That's one of the most important aspects of the of the sewer line is that it everything drain on its own with gravity. There's a sewer access point, so that's somewhere probably out in the yard. It's another spot that you'd be able to access the line to clean it out or to uh, put a camera down. I'm accessing it through a clean out in the basement behind the water heater. We should be coming up on that route. So this is cast iron. Um, 
issue with cast iron is it gets very rough and rusty. It can catch on debris. Hmm. I didn't see a root, which makes me wonder if that original, uh, all that water that was backing up was stuck. It was something stuck in the cast iron. I'm going to flush the toilet to clean my camera head off. We can get a better look at what's going on in this cast. Cast iron is usually the weakest link, and that's pretty much what we're seeing here. Um, most of the line was not holding water, except for that wet wipe. There wasn't any debris in the line, but oh, there it is. See, there's some waste. Looks like another old wet wipe or something. So this is cast iron. It gets really rough, rusty, it can hold debris, it can allow for blockages which can then back up into the house. You know, I didn't see... I didn't see a root in there. I just saw cast iron. Um, I don't know what was causing it to hold all that water at first. I think we have now passed that area because I think that was around 30 feet. Um, definitely interesting. I think my camera probably broke through whatever blockage it had. You might consider having that little piece of cast cleaned out. They can coat it, which is like a chain cutter that they use to cut through a small portion of the of the cast. And then it makes it smooth again so that it's less likely to catch debris. Um, had I not seen that, I would say it looks like a pretty typical line and that it's performing the way that it should, but with it holding water um, in the beginning of my video, I mean that was a blockage. So it's it's kind of a blessing that you got a scope because I was able to break through that without it backing up into the house, but it, it does show what can, can happen in the future with, with that little piece of cast. I'm going to end this recording now. Thank <laughs> you.